I'm down here in Hartford and I did a thing <laughs> down here at Rusty's place at Rankam Bee Ranch where we harvest our honey. And I want to show you what I did. All right, y'all may recognize this is the honey house where all of, all of our honey gets harvested. I, I partner up with Rusty. There's a little sign right there, it's pretty cool. But I, I put an order in for this big old thing right here. And uh, many of you may know what it is already. And many of you may not. So we're about to break into this and see what it is. There's Rusty over there. Like kids on Christmas. <laughs> exactly, we're about to see what we got in here. This product actually came from Hillco, from John Hill, I called him. We're just trying to figure out how to make our honey harvest a little more efficient. I've heard tremendous reviews about these, so. Been wanting to order one for a while and finally, Rusty, I just pulled the trigger. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta bite the bullet. All right, let's lift this off and see what we got. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's beautiful. You probably can't see it very good get over there, can you? We got some. It's too pretty to use. I know. It's like a shiny object. Yeah. <laughs> it won't stay shiny long. No. It'll clean up nicely, though. That's All weird. right, so what we have here is a Hilco Mega Max 32 frame extractor 32 mediums 24 deeps i think is what it would comfortably do and uh, man it's it's like a shiny object man it's beautiful and um, i'm looking forward to trying this thing out but we're going to get this thing out of the box here and we'll take a little better look at it what do you think so far rusty uh it's absolutely beautiful i mean it's three or four food grade stainless good stuff 19 gauge i think they say There it is. There it is. We're going to go ahead and put the legs on it, get, every, get it ready to go, and then we'll show you how it looks. And maybe we, we might even run it a little bit and see how it looks and sounds as it's running. Ooh, that thing looks nice and shiny. Look at that thing, Rusty. Shiny Lights like a new dime. Lights reflecting off of the... It's beefy. Yeah, it is. It's heavy duty. Okay, we're going to put it up on that table there, and we're going to see if we can... Uh, One, two... Oh, that's heavy, heavy. Uh, it is heavy. That's okay. We're going to use this little table to put the legs on. We got the legs on. That was very simple. They just screw on. Two minutes. And uh, it does have these rubber feet right here, which are nice. But if you want to bolt it down, you just take them off. And we're probably going to have to bolt it down. That's what we usually do. Um, but anyway, it's got the nice gate here. Heavy duty gate. And one thing that's really cool about this thing, I'm not sure if you can tell from the top, but that gate is below the surface of, of the bottom of the extractor. And the bottom of the extractor actually is tilted. It's higher in the back than the front. So you never have to tilt this thing to drain the honey out, which is always a pain. And so that's pretty awesome. We'll look at it from the bottom, maybe you can see it a little better. Kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, there is a difference in height. It's ever so slight, it looks like. Down here we have a spot to grease the... Lower bearing, you grease, grease dirt. Yeah. So man, I think they thought of everything, at least from what it looks like, all the things that aggravate you about extractors, he pretty much is taken care of. Here's something cool I just saw. So your whole drive motor assembly, your inverter, your controller, two simple lock bolts basically you know to finger tighten and they sit down on top of your tight bear, top bear and there's one pin to pull so this will all sit off and you can pull the clean extractor it. basket out if need be to clean it really easily yeah they're not always like that so no. <laughs> he's just it just seems like there's a lot of thought put into this design and it's, it's pretty impressive i gotta tell you it's one of if not the best made extractor of this size that you've seen. And scope that I've seen. I mean, yeah, what I've agree. seen so far, it is the best made. Here's the old Maxent. I've used this thing. It's been a, it's been awesome. It's put a lot of work in for us, but yes, you know, it we has. just, it was just time to upgrade. So we, so I mean, I we were impressed by this license. Yeah, but the license is great I, I'm too. I'm much more impressed by that Hilka. It's a, it's a quality product. Well, should we turn it on and see what, how it works? You want to read the instructions first? Let's just go. Well, let's just let's just play with it. Rusty. You're smart enough, man. No, you understand I don't motors. Know about all that. If you, you want to see all the details about the motor and everything, John has a real nice video 
on the website. He talks about the type of motor it has and everything. So there we go. Uh, now we got power coming on. We're just playing with it. That's on 60. It's been pretty fast, isn't it? Who knows? <laughs> we're, we're, we're totally guessing right now, aren't we? Well, here we go. Oh, there's cool. All right. Ooh, it's smooth. Quiet. Very simple adjustment here. Just for, this is for manual operation. It is programmable, right? Eventually we'll read instructions, but we're men, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're just messing with it right now. All right, but we'll just turn that little dial. That was from zero. There's 38. Fifty-ish, fifty-two, and so so it's smooth, quiet. so smooth, yeah. Just... Man, listen how smooth that is. Listen, that's that's half speed. Is it? Yeah. That's one. That's half the dial. Woo. It's a pretty powerful motor too, it sounds like, right? Quiet and powerful. Yeah, we're definitely want to fill out the, uh, figure out the, uh, the program modes on it because I can see us just, give her yeah. max power. Well, max power is going to be pretty powerful, it looks like. It is that. Very cool. So there you have it, our new toy. Pretty exciting, I, I, I think it's just going to help with our honey harvest. We're trying to decide if we're going to just use the two bigger extractors or if we're going to throw the Maxon in there too. We really have to figure out logistically how to do the uncapper over there with the extractors and just speed everything up. But this should allow us to do quite a few more frames, you know, and just kind of, it should help the process along. And I think it was time. What do you think, Rusty? Uh, we, we've, we've grown to a point, both of us size-wise, we need to maximize efficiency, and we've grown to an age where the, the easier we can make this, the better off we're going to be. Absolutely. So this, you know, previously our bottleneck was uncapping. That was always, we were always waiting to fill extractors for uh, frames to be uncapped. That bottleneck no longer exists, and we discovered we couldn't extract as fast as we can uncap now, now that we've got the Silver Queen, so... I'm sure there's another bottleneck waiting for us somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, one more thing, and we'll explain all this on the next honey harvest, but we do, we've, we've tried to figure out some ways to kind of help on the back end as well. So we're going to see how it works. But I mainly just wanted to do a little video here and show you my new toy. I, I think it's a tremendous piece of equipment. I think it was a good purchase. Probably one of the best purchases you've made lately. <laughs> I would tend to agree. We'll find out when we use it, but uh, there's a tremendous warranty with this thing. It's a 410 warranty, I think is what John calls it. What is the rest of everything? All this part up yeah. here, the top part is Your four drive years. assembly, motor, inverter, everything four years. Everything stainless steel below that, 10 years. Man, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a warranty that good on a piece of equipment no, like this before. Never. I'm gonna tell you too, uh, John, I, I've always been impressed with John. I've gotten to know him you know, fairly well over the last couple of years and you know, he's always been great to help me out. I've heard nothing but good things about his customer service. I think that he is determined to make it right if anything ever does go wrong, but people seem to be really pleased. After hearing about a lot of my friends and people I know that went ahead and ordered the Hilco, they all seem to like him. I figured it was time to pull the trigger and maybe help improve our situation a little bit. Rust and I were talking, this thing, I believe I actually officially paid for this thing, I think it was Wednesday night, because I told Rusty I'd ordered it, I believe, on Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so this thing went from officially being ordered to arriving here in Hartford, Alabama at the Honey House here at Rancan B Ranch in, what, three to four business days. Yeah. It was supposed to be here yesterday through no fault of John's. It got hung up. So it would have been here yesterday. Yeah, but. normally with freight, you expect it to take longer, right? Yeah, but man, it was just here really instant. quickly. And I, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that's going to happen every time, but in my case, I mean, I couldn't be more impressed. So anyway, next time we crank this thing up and, and work with it, we're going to actually be running live honey frames through it. And I hope we're running a lot of honey through it. I think we're going to be. The bees are real busy right now down here in Southeast Alabama. Good times, man. It's a lot of fun. I appreciate you, my friend. Appreciate you, bro. All it, right. It won't be shiny next time. Yeah. All right. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch you next time. Take care.